Okay, we have plowed to the uh, through to the end of this book uh, with the closing out with the Andean culture. So these are the archaeological sites uh, looked at in the book. Approximate distributions of various traditions are shown here. Some sites in coastal river valleys are omitted from the map, but their general location is clear from the text in the book, which I'm not obviously going through. So Moche State, 200 BC to 8600 up here in the northern edge. Uh, the Tiwanaku State uh, down here in the southern end uh, from AD 200 to circa 1200 uh, AD or Common Era. The Wari State is here in this color going from AD 600 to AD 900 and the Chimu State here is uh, going from uh, maybe about 1000 AD to uh, 1476 and the various other details uh, are mentioned here uh, in terms of the Natska Valley and so on and so forth. Okay, um, Looking at the timelines, again, we talked about El Paraiso Coral, uh, Coral 2000 BC, Huaca, Florida, uh, Cerro Arena, Moche here, Chimu, uh, going to the European contact in the age of discovery for both the Peruvian coast and the highland Andes and we look at development elsewhere and the innovations as well. So for the Highland Andes you have the initial period uh, starting around uh, 12 to 1400 uh, uh, BC. So you have Chiripa, Shavin de Huantar, early horizon here, Pukara, early intermediate period, the middle horizon here including Tiwanaku and Wari, um, and you have uh, the Inca coming in here later which goes on beyond AD uh, 1500 that you are looking at and that's the European contact there. So you have uh, the Shang civilization elsewhere you have Shang civilization, uh, Assyrians, Maya overlap this period, uh, Rome, Teotihuacan that we talked about, the coming of Islam, uh, we talked separately about the uh, climate impacts uh, on potential evolution or potential climate impact on the evolution of Islam. Uh, late intermediate period, the Khmer civilizations uh, in the uh, um, southeastern uh, Asia and late horizon here that uh, again is uh, relevant for the Andean. Very heavy rain happening right now but anyway Aztecs here Innovations involved, you had new religious be uh, beliefs and also textiles, intensified highlands and lowland, uh, intensified highland to lowland trades. Uh, Shavin art style enjoys wide influence here around uh, 5200, uh, sorry, 5000, uh, 500 BC. I'm sorry about that. Irrigation agriculture on the coast and metallurgy appearing by AD 1. Okay, so what is the uh, summary? The earliest complex societies of coastal Peru may have developed as a result of the intensive exploitation of maritime resources, especially small fish easily netted from a canoe. In time, abundant food surpluses, growing population densities and larger settlements may have pre-adapted coastal people to intensive irrigation agriculture. These societies were organized in increasingly complex ways. Uh, I'll add a, a short podcast here on uh, what we mean by complex societies. During the so-called initial period of Peruvian prehistory, large monumental structures appeared, many of them U-shaped just before and during the transition towards greater dependence on maize culture. We talked about this under uh, domestication of uh, cro uh, grasses and crops and vegetation. This was also a period of continuous interaction and extensive trade between the coast and the highlands. This fluorescence of social complexity, fluorescence of social complexity, new art traditions and monumental architecture uh, coincided with the emergence of several small polities in river valleys on the coast. The culmination of this trend is seen in various local traditions along them. Uh, famous uh, Shavin style, Shavin the Huana, Huantar, 
once thought to have been the source of Peruvian civilization, is now known to be a late manifestation of cultural trends that began as early as 2000 BC. Um, yeah, so that's uh, moving on. After about 200 BC, a series of coastal kingdoms of the so-called Middle Horizon developed between 200 BC and AD 600 and lasted until about AD 1000, the political and economic influence of which spread beyond their immediate valley homelands. These states included Moche and Nazca, and uh, remarkable for their fine pottery styles and expert alloy and gold metallurgy, they flourished in the first millennium AD. About 1375, Chimu, with, a, with its great, great capital at Chan Chan on the northern coast, dominated a wide area of lowlands. Its compound compounds reflect a stratified state with many expert craftspeople and a complex material culture. During the late horizon of Peruvian history, AD 1400 to 1534, so right through the uh, age of discovery, there was unification of highlands and the lowlands under Inca Empire, which may have emerged as early as uh, AD 1200 and lasted until the Spanish conquest in 1532 to 1534. The Inca rulers were masters of bureaucracy and military organization. The Inca rulers were masters of bureaucracy and military organization and they governed a highly structured state, one however that was so weakened by civil war and disease that it fell easily to conquistador Francisco Pizarro and his uh, small army of adventure. I'll talk about agriculture and disease in a separate podcast from my course on health uh, climate and health. Uh, throughout human evolution, disease has been an important player as well, so it's worth touching upon that. And domestication and agriculture obviously took us past just zoonotic diseases of the hunter-gatherers into the diseases that we still carry, like diabetes and so on. The Amazon basin was settled by hunter-gatherers as early as 8500 BC, with cultivation bege beginning around 3500 BC. By 1000 BC, Avarak and Tupigurani speakers had spread across the Amazonian lowlands, organized in small chiefdoms, which illustrated with one another, which sorry, which interacted with one another and with the Inca and other societies on the other side of the Andes, so the coastal population. Okay, so you can see how things evolved in the New World, Mesoamerica and the Andes. Uh, we have already talked about a little bit about the North American spread as well. So let's leave this book here and use these